we're going to talk about recording data from a survey. This is lesson 10.13. A survey is a way to gather information about a group. We ask a group of people the same questions to see how they answer. We can compare their answers by listing them on a chart. So here's some possible survey questions you could ask somebody. Which flavor ice cream would you prefer? Chocolate, vanilla, or strawberry? See, we give them a choice of three things, or four things, or five things, but you don't want to give them too many choices. That would make the survey too big. You could ask, which pet would you rather have? A dog, a cat, or a hamster? You could say a dog, cat, hamster, horse, or some other animal. Okay, whichever you prefer. And the way you mark the data is we use tally marks. And a tally mark is a line. For every answer, we make one line. We make a tally mark for each answer. Once you get to four tally marks and you want to make the fifth tally mark, you cross the four. You put a cross across it. That way you can skip count by fives when you count your tally marks. So if we asked nine people which ice cream choice they want, we have the flavors, here's our tally marks, here's our totals, and if we ask nine people, and let's pretend that four people said chocolate, so we put four tally marks, that's a total of four, and three of the people said they like vanilla, so that's three tally marks, that's a total of three, and maybe two people said they like strawberry, that's two tally marks, we have a total of nine people surveyed, see? If we asked about pets, and we asked ten people, and let's say six people said they like dogs, we would make our four tally marks and cross it for the fifth one. And here's one by itself for six. That's a total of six. And let's pretend that three liked cats and one liked hamsters. Six plus three plus one is ten people surveyed. See? You can just look at the chart and see which is the favorite pet. You find which was chosen the most. So that would be for our pretend ice cream one, it would be chocolate, and for our pretend pet survey, it would be dogs. You find which one was chosen the least, that would be strawberry, or that would be hamster. And we can write the totals as fractions of a group. We just did that in the last video, fractions of a group. If we ask 10 people, our group is 10. If six prefer dogs, then six of the 10 people asked equals six-tenths that prefer dogs. Our group is 10, six prefer dogs. We have six-tenths that prefers dogs. Three of the 10 asked prefer cats, so three-tenths prefer cats. See? Six of the 10 prefer dogs, three of the group of 10 prefer cats, and one of the group of 10 prefers hamsters, so one of the 10 that prefers hamsters means one-tenth prefers hamsters. See? So we can actually use the information to make fractions of a group. And we can see which is the favorite pet or which is the favorite flavor of ice cream very easily by looking at the totals. See? So you can make your own survey. You could choose three things or four. You ask a group of people which one of those things they like the most, so they can only pick one. You can do things like three different songs, three different colors, three different movies or animals, toys, cars, candy. You could do soda flavors. You could do video games. You could do three different flowers. You can use tally marks to keep track of the answers, or you could use a bar graph to keep track of the answers. We did that in video 10.7. And there'll be a link in this video's description in case you want to watch that video and you missed it. All right? So you could use a bar graph. Okay? So that is recording data from a survey. You know, data is information. We can use tally marks to keep track of it. And we can write a fraction of a group with our answers, our information, our data that we collected. Okay? So try making your own survey. And... You can survey your friends or your family, all right? 
I'll see you next video. Bye.